They're back in Washington. Congress gets back to work today, one day before President Obama gives his State of the Union address. Tracy Potts has the latest from Capitol Hill. Next week, America hits the debt ceiling again and won't be able to pay its bills. Some Republicans insist to raise the ceiling. Democrats must give up something. Of course we should do something. We shouldn't just write a blank check. I do not believe that Republican leaders will follow Ted Cruz over the cliff once again. It sounds like lawmakers may actually compromise on unemployment. Surely, in a $3, million, $3 trillion annual expenditure, we can find a place to pay for extended unemployment insurance. But raising the minimum wage, that may be a tougher fight. It's about debating not who wants to cure poverty. Republicans want to help people who are unemployed. We want to help people get jobs. But it's about what policies work. We should not play Russian roulette with America's economy. We shouldn't jeopardize this economic growth and kill off jobs because of another political squabble. President Obama lays out his vision in the State of the Union address tomorrow night. The Republican Congress is not going to rubber stamp the president's agenda. The president is not going to sign the Republican Congress's agenda. So we have to find areas where we can work together. Tracy Potts, KMIR News. And our local congressman, Dr. Raul Ruiz, will be at the State of the Union address tomorrow, and he's bringing a special guest. Retired Sergeant Andrew Walker is working as a state officer. Before that, he served 30 years in the Air Force. He applied for medical assistance through the Veterans Affairs System and was stuck in the backlog for six years. He looked for help and eventually found Congressman Ruiz. The congressman was able to help him and invited Walker to the State of the Union address. Two years ago, I was an emergency medicine physician working in the emergency department taking care of people locally. And two years later, I find myself in the State of the Union uh, in our nation's capital. It was uh, such a big uh, a change in my life. And that this is what it's all about, is to give those experiences also to the people I represent. And for him to take the interest to even remember me, um, I, I, I feel very, very honored. Walker says they fly out today. The congressman says they will also give him a tour of the Capitol building and hopefully get him inside the White House. Wow, sounds great.